Hello and welcome to our guide on how to assemble and fit a tail fin rack system to your bike. In this video, we'll go through the tools and parts you require, how to put everything together, and finally show you how simple it is to fit to your bike. A tail fin rack is quite different to what you'd normally expect from a rear rack system. It comprises of two distinctive parts, the arch and the top stay, to create a very stable system for carrying a variety of luggage for commuting, touring, or even bike packing. But what makes it even more special is it doesn't require dedicated mounts on your bike, so it works for literally any style of bike. When you order a tail fin rack system, you will receive the following parts. The rear arch of your choice, this will either be in carbon fiber or aluminum, and either non-pannier or pannier mount version. You'll receive a top stay. This will be either the regular length or the long length, depending on what you've chosen. And then finally, the lower means of attachment, either our tail fin axle and fast release dropouts, frame mount adapters and fast release dropouts, or direct mounting. The direct mounting kit comes as standard with every arch, so you'll receive the screws and spaces in order to do that. Assembling a tail fin rack system is a very simple process and only requires a couple of tools. A Torx T25 key is the most important tool. This is something that's found on most modern multi-tools as it's used as standard on disc brake systems. And we also recommend the use of a torque wrench in order to tighten the bolts up to our recommended torque settings. The first step to assemble your tail fin rack system is to attach the fast release dropouts to the lower part of the arch. This is a simple process. In the box of the fast release dropouts, you'll receive a little bag with the four key T25 screws and the dropouts themselves. These are shaped and angled, so you need to make sure that we get this right first of all. The arch is oriented in a way that it has the tail fin logo on the top and you want to fit it so you can read the tail fin logo when you're stood behind the back of the bike. With that in mind, the fast release dropouts need to be fitted so the little jaw here drops forward. So this point is at the front part of the arch. There's also a chamfered part here, an angled part, and that must fit on the outside of the arch as well. Each of the four screws is impregnated with Loctite. That's the blue material you can see on the screw here. This is designed to help it hold the screw in place when it's tightened. So the simplest way to actually fit this is first of all, take hold of your arch, place two of the screws into the slot, use your thumb to hold them in place, and then you can put the fast release dropout next to it. When you have those in the right position, then take your T25 and start to tighten it up. Just do a little bit of each first to make sure that they're in the right place. Before you tighten it fully, double check that it's in the right orientation. As I said, the tail fin logo should be at the back of the bike with the arch pointing forward. When you're happy that that's right, then you can tighten this up fully. I tend to tighten with a standard T25 first. And then when that's nice and tight, get your torque wrench. And we have a torque recommended setting of five Newton meters for these screws. So set your torque wrench to five Newton meters. So this is a nice digital one, so it's on five there. Place it on, tighten each one until it beeps, or until it clicks if you've got a standard torque wrench. There we go. That's the first one done, so that's in place. And then repeat for the second one. The additional thing to note with the fast release dropouts is in the package, you will also receive a small set of silver screws and a Torx key, which is designed as an extra level of security. These are a security Torx key, so there is a little hole in the center. And if you want to, you can use these when this is attached to the bike to screw through this hole here 
and then that locks the fast release dropout in place and means that people cannot open this and take your rack from your bike. Once you have your fast release dropouts in place, then our attention turns to the top stay. The first thing you need to do with your top stay is you again need to get the orientation right. So if we look at the front of the seat clamp, you'll notice that tail fin is printed on the strap. Tail fin needs to be pointing upwards. Once you've done this, look towards the back of the top stay and you'll notice two thin rubber retaining clips. Move these until they are vertical, so they are out of the way. The next stage is to push the top stay onto the relative points on the arch. These are the two points of the arch in which you attach the top stay. So this point and this point here. This is very simple, it doesn't need any tools, but you will need to push it on quite firmly. One thing to note at this point though, is do not stretch the top stay too far apart as this can fracture the top stay. So just be careful with that. It doesn't need much movement, but you can see you've got just enough there to actually get it on either side. So start with one side and push it into place. Again, very, very simple. Once that's on, you'll notice you've got plenty of room to actually push the other one on. Move that one over the top of the other side and then using both hands, push that down. Now it needs to be pushed on fully. So you can see at the moment, it still needs to be pushed in a bit more. So don't be too worried about using a bit more force to do it. You know you have it in the right position when the little indent here is visible on both sides. So just double checking. Yep, that one's fine on that side and that's fine on that side. Once you've got it pushed on and you can see the groove on each side, this retaining clip needs to be put back over and then it sits inside that groove. So when you push it over, just use your fingers just to tease it in place. It might take a couple of goes, but once it's in, you'll see that it's actually very simple to actually push in place. I tend to use my nail to actually then make sure it's in fully. Once that's in, you should be able to see it's actually sitting in the slot. Do the same for the other side. Just run it round, in like that. And that helps you to make sure that everything is securely in place. Once you've pushed the top stay on and you've put the retaining clips back into their groove, that is your rack set up. So now you have your fully assembled rack, the next stage is to fit it to your bike. This, as I said at the start, is a very simple process. First of all, make sure you've either installed your tail fin axle, your frame mount adapters, or you've got everything ready to do a bolt-on fitting. For the sake of argument, we're gonna use the best way to fit your tail fin rack, which is using our tail fin axle. It's a very simple process. Once the axle is in place, stand behind the bike. This is always the best way to do it. Pull open the silver buttons to release the jaws of your fast-release dropouts place them over the ends of the axle and click them in place. It's a very nice audible click when you know it's actually locked in place. Do the same for both sides. Once that's done, the lower part is now attached. Bring the strap forward on the seat post connector, wrap it round, engage it into the clip on the other side and then pull this shut. Once you've pulled that shut, make sure the secondary lock is in place. So push it in and it will click. You'll feel that because that will not move at all now. You do not need to do this too tight because it's a cam mechanism. It will automatically tighten when you click it in place. And that's it completely fitted. To remove the rack, it's a simple process and all you need to do is just reverse what you've done to attach it. So release by pushing the secondary lock, moving that forward, the strap will automatically pop open, pull the buttons out, releasing the jaws, lift off using the bottom part, and it's completely off. I hope this video has helped you to understand the assembly procedure and the fitting of your tail fin rack. If you have any further questions, please put it in the comments section below. And don't forget to visit our website, telfin.cc, for more information about our racks and if you need more support.